Well, when we arrived here at the City Golf Club in Toowoomba this morning for the final round of the Coca-Cola Queensland PGA Championship, I don't think any of us expected what was about to unfold. Admittedly, this is a golf course that can yield some very low rounds, and most were aware of the possibility of a strong run from someone back in the pack. Victorian Chris Muick began the day one shot ahead of his playing partners Darren Beck and Adam Stevens. But before long it became apparent that that trio would be challenged in retaining their chance at the title. With the final trio struggling to get out of first gear early, one look in their rear vision mirror would have highlighted to them the fact that there were several chasing down their lead. Word began to spread, however, that Queenslander Tim Hart was making a bold move, not only for the title, but a place in Australian golfing history. The previous best ever round recorded on the PGA Tour of Australasia was in this very event on the Gold Coast 10 years ago. And when Hart sank this putt at the 14th, and then pitched close for another at the 16th, before a two putt birdie at the 17th, he had moved to an amazing 12 under par for the day and 18 under par for the tournament. At that point, he was three clear of the field. He was also on track to smash the previous record of 59, as a par at the last would have seen him sign for a 58. At the worst possible moment, however, he pulled his tee shot out of bounds, took triple bogey, and left the door open for his chases. Um, I just tried to stay aggressive. Uh, I didn't. My caddy and myself, we didn't know the uh, the leaderboard standing, so he just said, "Look, you got to stay aggressive and let's let's make a birdie and and uh, and close it out." But um, unfortunate to yeah hit a hit a bad shot on the last. But um, yeah, I sort of tried to just stay calm and and go through the process, but it didn't didn't work this time. But that's fine. Later, Hart was disappointed, but philosophical about what had happened. Yeah, it hurts. It does hurt. Um, now I'm thinking about it, but. Um, like you said, at the start of the day, if, I, if you said I was going to be in a playoff, I would have grabbed that with both hands. So, um, yeah, I got on a, a good roll, so um, disappointing finish, but I'm pretty happy. Back on the golf course, Chris Muick was recovering from his slow start with birdies at the 10th and the 11th. But a missed chance at the 14th and a three-putt par at the 17th cost him his chance to join the playoff for the title. The challenges to Hart's lead, he established more than an hour earlier, were now dwindling. Darren Beck finally got some forward momentum when he eagled the 10th. But although his chances were still alive when he birdied the 17th, he missed a makeable chance at the last to eventually end his hopes. Chris Wood began a move with four birdies and five holes to begin his back nine. And he too had a chance at the last, but fell short. It was left therefore to New Zealand based German David Klein, whose previous best finish in a PGA Tour of Australasia event was when third at the 2014 New Zealand Open. Klein birdied his opening two holes and got into a share of the lead at the 14th. He was unable to secure the one final birdie he needed to take the title in regulation. And so he and Hart headed back to the 18th to break the deadlock. A birdie by Klein was enough to secure the title. Well, Tim teed off first and, you know, he had him the trees right, so it was a pretty simple equation for me. Hit it down the middle, hit it on, two putt, par, should probably win it. You know, he had a pretty good shot in there to give himself a chance at par, but, yeah, the putt I had was just, you know, to see that drop was amazing. Darren Beck, Chris Wood and Chris Muick tied for third. It was a dramatic final day which so nearly created tournament history in Australia. When uh, Tim was a young fellow at Inchbilly Golf Club and he came through playing pennant for us, and uh, always had the potential to be a, a very exciting golfer and, and uh, under 60 was looking on the cards but um, I'm sure he'll still be pretty happy with uh, a playoff and uh, not getting there but he'll be still happy. Irrespective, it was yet another highly successful Coca-Cola Queensland PGA Championship at the City Golf Club in Toowoomba. It's really a benchmark event for the rest of Australia for the way the regional events are run. You can see the mayors behind it, the clubs behind it, uh, the people of Toowoomba come behind it and the players come up and put on a great show. So with volunteers, it's just, uh, it's just a well-run event um, and, and well-supported from the district.